rip your Blu-rays and DVDs if you want to put them on your Plex a Jellyfin server or something. Well, here's the steps, uh, and I'll show you really quickly. I'm doing it right now, but here's an outline. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your disk in your computer and run a program called MakeMKV. That's going to copy the data off the disk into an MKV file. After you do that, you're going to use a program. If you want, I like to use this program called Make uh, MKV Merge, and I use this to split the MKV file. Uh, this is in the case where one MKV file contains maybe multiple episodes. Uh, for example, if it's a Pokemon, my Pokemon DVDs, uh, one, one MKV file will contain five episodes. So I'll run it through MKV Merge to split the five episodes into their own files. Now you may have now you're going to have one or a bunch of MKV files. They're huge, very big files. You need to compress them. You use a program called Handbrake to transcode them from MKV to MP4. They'll be smaller files. And then another thing that I've had an issue I've had with a lot of the stuff is that uh uh, with some of my discs, the audio is just too quiet when I try to play it on my television with my fancy sound bar. You just can't hear it. Well, I use a cool program called FFmpeg to raise the audio level of the MP4. And then once that's done, you just put it on your server and you're done. Pretty easy. So I'll show you the thing now in action. Uh, here I bought a dedicated computer for this business. Just a cheap computer, cheap CPU and stuff. No GPU in it. Just pretty cheap computer uh, because this thing can, you know, uh, be kind of uh, CPU intensive. I, I don't want to be doing this on my main computer. So anyway, anyway, you put the disk in there and you'll see uh, M uh, Make MKV right now is running and it's uh, copying the, uh, it's making an MKV image from the uh, file from the disk. Sometimes this will be a pain in the neck. Uh, when you put the disk in, it'll give you a list of all, uh, which it'll show all the files that are on the DVD and you'll have to pick the one that contains the video. And that can be tricky. You may need to go on the internet and look around the forums to see which file is... you see. Install Make MKV, put a disk in your computer, and then you will see what I'm talking about. It's a little bit confusing. But anyway, not so bad. Uh, then, so that's step one. First thing, Make MKV. Uh, then what may happen is, uh, for example, here I'm looking at SpongeBob. I'm ripping my SpongeBob DVDs. Um, for example, let's look at this one here, this episode here. You see it has a... Uh, there's one episode here. And then around here, it starts a second episode. There you go. Uh, so I want to split that into two. I don't want them in the same file. So for that, I have wrote a little script here called process. Uh, here, this one here. And you can write your own script, whatever you want to do. Here's just a, a short little bash script I wrote to loop over all the files in my current directory, all the MKV files, and split them. Split chapter one and two into two episodes. Okay, you, you don't need to do that unless you want to. You maybe don't want even to do. Uh, you maybe don't even want to do that. So then, once you've done that, then I output everything here to a directory uh, called uh, Split. This is all the episodes of SpongeBob, and I went through and renamed them. They'll have like stupid names, but I just I would watch the beginning of the video and I would say, oh, this one is called Bumper to Bumper. So then I'd come here and rename the episode to to Bumper to Bumper. Now we have it in a MKV uh, file, but now look, step three, we're going to use Handbrake to compress it. Because, for example, look at this file here. Uh, this one here is uh, about a half a gigabyte. And then here, when you transcode it, you turn it from MKV into M uh, MP4, uh, it's now only 40 megabytes, which is awesome. Then an issue that I had with this was that the audio was too quiet. So you see the fourth step here, I use FFmpeg to raise the audio level. Uh, the audio was just too quiet on this episode. You could barely hear it. So here I have another directory with it louder. I don't know if you'll be able to hear. There, that's pretty loud. And then if we come here, this was the original. You see, it's much quieter. I don't know if the cameras, if the mic is picking that up, but this one here is much quieter than the one I have in my folder called Loud here. Well, uh, to do that, I just wrote a little script called Loudin, and this script here is kind of like the other one. It just loops over all the files and the, all the MP4 files, and it's going to use FFmpeg. Here's the command. I'll, I'll make it bigger so you can see if you want it. Uh, it's going to, this is the command. It's going to, um, it's going to raise the volume by 20 decibels and then, and then spit out uh, a file with a louder <clears throat> louder volume. Anyway, uh, once that's done, that's the whole process, and then 
they go, uh, I send them over to my media server, and then you can see here, for example, here's a jellyfin, and here's the episode I was just showing you, uh, bumper to bumper. And now you can play it here in the browser, you could play it on your cell phone, or anywhere in the house on your network, uh, you can watch it. You see here, it's, it's streaming from my media server. And the media server actually is not this. This is my dedicated, like, ripping and processing computer. My media server is, uh is a computer like this, like a small um, little Intel computer. I, I have that in the other room and that's the one that's streaming everything. So, hope that helps.